Hi everyone, I'm Sharon. Welcome to Tool Talk. Today is likely to be one of my more controversial tool talks because I'm going to talk to you about my favorite torch. And that torch is, wait for it, it's the Little Torch. The Little Torch by Smith. Uh, if you go onto some jewelry forums online, on Facebook, on any of those places where you find jewelry forums, you'll often find somebody who's asked a question about what's the best kind of torch to get, or how do I solve this problem with my torch, or how do I do this thing with my torch? And one of the things I've noticed, unfortunately, is that people get kind of snarky about what kind of torch is the best or the professional torch. And one of the things that I've come to understand after 17, almost 18 years of jewelry making is that the right torch is the right torch for you. The best torch in the wrong hands isn't going to be a very good torch. And the worst torch in expert hands can be used very, very well. So for me, I've just loved this torch since the first time that I used it. I thought I was going to hate it. I was told that I was going to hate it. And then I went to work in a professional jewelry studio and this was the torch that they used. And I used it and I was like, I don't understand why people hate it. The part that you hold in your hand, the hand piece here, nice and lightweight, which means there's very little hand fatigue. So if you're a production jeweler and you need to solder a whole bunch of things all in one go, this is a great option because I, when I hold this, I don't get hand fatigue. Uh, the other thing about it that I really like is that these hoses are really flexible, which means that when I'm at my solder station, I'm super, super agile. Uh, the other thing is that using this torch actually opened up a whole new world of, of jewelry making skills for me. So now if I need to say solder on, uh, let's see if you can see it, like a tiny jump ring to a tiny, thin, delicate chain, I use this torch and I've never had a problem with the chain melting on me or the jump ring melting. It's, it's a nice, sharp, focused flame because of these tiny torch tips. And I've just found that for delicate work, there's been no substitute for this torch. I really love it for that. Uh, a couple of things that I also like about it, it's a pretty versatile torch too. So it is true that it comes standard with a lot of these small torch tips. This is a number I should have put on my glasses. Would have been too much glare for you. Uh, this is a number four tip. Uh, this is the one that I use probably the most frequently for my everyday soldering, but this torch, you can also get some other torch tips that make it a little bit more versatile. So instead of just soldering tiny things, you can also get this multi-flame, sometimes called a rosebud torch tip. And you can see it's gonna make my torch much more powerful. I've actually used this to melt down scrap to make an ingot that I rolled out into sheet. So I did this with this and it was great. It made it super versatile. So for annealing and for melts, this is a great option. And I can't remember, I know you can buy it separately from the torch and I don't remember how much it is, but it's a really wonderful upgrade if you already have this torch. Another torch tip that I like that also makes this torch really versatile. Doo -doo -doo the Triton or the Devil Horns. Uh, this gives you the power of two torches in one. Uh, one of the things that I've really loved doing with this is if I have to make a wider ring band or a thicker ring band, I can put the ring band in between the torches and I can basically solder it from both sides. So that's been a huge boon. Um, let's see, I also mentioned I really like the flexibility of the hoses. Um, the other thing I really like about it, it does come with this magnetic stand, so it's really easy to just leave it there if you need to leave it running for any reason, like if you're balling up a bunch of wire all at once. So the other thing I really like about this torch is how versatile it is. So when I first got this torch, it was hooked up to an oxygen generator. So not an oxygen tank, but something that continuously made oxygen. and eventually that oxygen generator actually crapped out and I had to switch back to using an oxygen tank and it required me to replace a part on this. 
Uh, basically at the other end of this hose where this will attach into your regulator, I had to, you know, cut off a part of the hose and reattach the little part that screws into the regulator and, and cut it up and like change it out. And you know what? I was able to do that really easily. Uh, it didn't require a lot of technical know-how. Uh, I was just able to make that change. And that's partly why I like this. That kind of versatility to me is really important in a tool. And also the fact that you can replace a lot of these parts. Like I can replace these two parts. I think I can even replace this. I can replace the hoses. So if one of these hoses, like if I rolled over it with my chair or something and put a hole in it, uh, I'd be able to fix it really easily. Uh, so yeah, I just, I really love this torch. I really, really deeply love this torch uh, for all of the reasons that I stated. And I really wanted to talk about this from my own perspective in the hopes that you'll find it uh, useful to you because my reasons for liking this torch might not appeal to you. So I just want you to understand what it is that I love about it. So it's mostly the lightweight handpiece and the flexible hoses that just allow me to be really agile and versatile when I'm at my solder station. Now, for some of you, if you don't have a problem with hand fatigue, then something heavier like the Miko might be better for you. If you're somebody who is mostly working on larger pieces, this might not be powerful enough. You might need something more like the Hope Torch. Uh, and once again, like these are like two totally different purposes. I use this one for big melts or big anneals or to heat an ingot mold. Uh, and I use this though every day for everyday soldering. So it really just depends on what you like about a torch. Once again, it's how you work, uh, it's how you want to work, and it's how you're going to accomplish the best possible work that you can. And so getting the right torch is important, don't get me wrong, but it has to be the right torch for you or it's not the right torch. Thank you so much for joining me for Tool Talk. I've really enjoyed it and I hope that you found all of my comments about my favorite torch helpful for you in picking out your new favorite torch. As always, if you have questions or comments about anything that I've said in this video, go ahead and leave the comment on this video or on the blog. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and subscribe to my newsletter where I give out all kinds of tips about jewelry and announce when my next online courses are going to be available. Thanks again, and I hope to see you soon.